A mantle was a heavy garment. Matthew 23, I think it is, tells us that John the Baptist was a prophet. They saw him as a prophet. And he uh, had what you call, he's girded with camels here. In those days, a prophet would have skin camel hair to cover them. Because, let me explain to you, sometimes they didn't live in houses, they lived in caves. And that skin had to be thick enough to keep them warm in the cold. So it was no flimsy piece of thing that hit him. This is what happened. Could you do some acting for me? I'm gonna throw this at you and I want you to act like this is heavy and fall to the ground. Will you help me on that? Come here, come here. Oh God, I, come here. Look. I'm gonna throw this, just drop to the ground. Please, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says he cast his mantle. When you read the text, it means he threw it. That was enough to knock It's like, it's like a camel without his guts hitting you at a force, at a might, and would have knocked him out. But even though it knocked him out, he knew what was on that mantle, which was ushering him to move from his destiny to this place of promise. I've come to prophesy, some of you, people have thrown some stuff at you and they intended to knock you out, but God says that was the indication for you to move to the next level. Oh, Thank you, stand. You may go back to your seat. Oh, oh. oh God, who am I preaching to right here? So, so, so he was, threw that mantle on him but he knew what hit him, and he started to follow him. And now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, now for the first time, you're gonna read something that now makes sense to you. That word there in the Hebrew means a tough and a severe thing. Nevertheless, if, and it came to pass, read. What is the Lord gonna do? Take Elijah by what? That means a whirlwind is going to be the elevation of moving him from earth, earth to heaven. It is a known fact that that's what's going to happen. And the Bible goes on to say, for the Lord has, that Elijah and Elisha went with him to Gilgal. Verse two, and Elijah said to Elisha, guess what? Stay here, don't follow me. For the Lord has taken me to Bethel. Are you reading that? Verse three, the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said, because I believe this is me, that Elijah was ahead of the school of the prophets. And he's the one who's mentoring these young prophets. And now the young prophets are saying, guess what? Don't follow him, because I believe, it's my theology, Elijah told him, tell him not to follow me. And so, said unto him, knowest that the prophet, that the Lord is gonna take away your master from, there, from thy head today? And he said, yeah, I know it. But he said, hold your peace. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, there's a point when you have a word inside of you and you know it's your season, nobody's gonna have the power to talk you out of it. No, I gotta find the people who I'm talking to. All right, verse four, I'm almost finished. Elijah said unto him, Elisha, Elijah said unto Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me. You know, King James like to say it in a nice way, tarry here, I pray thee. They don't, no, it meant stay here, don't come with me. Stop following me, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. Said, so as the Lord liveth, I will not leave you. Verse 5, the prophets that were in Jericho now said unto him, Knowest that the Lord has taken your master? He said, Yeah, I know. Hold your peace. In other words, you shut up. Just keep quiet right now. I ain't going to let no words be uttered out of your mouth. God told me to tell you some of the people who's trying to mess your destiny, tell them, Shut up. Say, Be quiet. 
Tell them, hold your peace. Say, I'm sorry, I can't hear nothing from you right now. Hang 